Hey everybody, this is Chris with the Ancient Scholar. I just wanted to do a quick video, a supplemental video to the arterial line monitoring video, uh, just to uh, make sure there isn't any confusion over the concept of mean arterial pressure. I just want to make sure everyone's um, familiar with the formula, or one of the formulae. There are actually several different formulae that we could use. Uh, but this one is at least intuitively pretty easy for me and um, logically makes sense and it's it's one of the more common formulae that you'll see on the exams and that is the mean arterial pressure equals the systolic blood pressure plus two times the diastolic blood pressure divided by three and um, what we need to recognize or realize is that the the mean arterial pressure is is an average it's related to the central tendency of um, all the numbers that we're looking at. If you uh, are familiar with statistics, you know that there are a few different ways we can look at central tendencies, um, usually through the uh, agency of uh, either uh, assessing the mean, the median, or the mode. Um, they all mean the same thing. It's, it's a type of average or central tendency. Um, in this case, we're talking about the mean. And what you do when you calculate a mean <coughs> is you take all your numbers and, and, and whatever um, components those numbers equal, you divide by the total number of components. And I know that may sound a little confusing, but let's just go ahead and uh, work through the logic here. Uh, so, so the logic is that in a cardiac cycle, in the cardiac cycle I have two phases. I have a systolic phase and a diastolic phase. And the way that I look at it is I have um, three total parts of a cardiac cycle and um, one part is systole we talk about time here one part time and then two parts are diastole okay so uh, one part systole to two parts diastole when considering the amount of time so we actually spend twice as amount of time in diastole as we do systole now if I add all those parts together I get three total parts so that's where we get this formula that we take one part systole plus two parts diastole. That's why we have to multiply that number. So if, the syst so if we have a blood pressure of 100 over 50, I'm going to take 100 and so I spend one part of the time of systole at that 100 plus two parts because I spend twice as much time in diastole and that's the 50, but that's 2 times 50, which is 100. So 100 plus 100 is 200. And then I divide that 200 by all three parts. And that's where I get my mean blood pressure of about 67 millimeters of mercury. I believe this is a, the same formula I used um, on the um, art line video, but I just wanted to give you guys a little more um, intuition for why we actually put the two in front of the diastole and why we actually divide everything by three. And, and hopefully that intuitively makes sense that, you know, we're just doing an average and it'd be nothing, it's the same thing as if I have a set of numbers one, two, and three. I add all three of those numbers up. Three plus two is five, right? And then plus one is six and then I divide by how many I have, that's three. Three goes into six how many times? Two. So my average, or my mean in, in, in this set of numbers would be two. And that seems to be about it, is the central tendency here. That's really all we're doing here with our mean arterial pressure. It's just the average pressure in the um, systemic uh, vascular bed at any given time. Okay, guys, hopefully that makes sense. Take care. Bye-bye.